Best fifty dollars we ever spent. It is really terrific. <laughs> Hey, guys. Ah, it's the man himself. Raise the glass, Luke. Your father's decided to join us, after all. Did Jesus tell you we were here? <laughs> yes, Dad. And the doorman's name is Jesus. <laughs> what? Why is my 17-year-old son in a bar? A pipe down, will you? We were taking you to pubs in Dublin when you were six. Oh, yes, I forgot. The Irish Head Start program. <laughs> It's only ginger ale. So, how was the show? Uh, oh, it was grand. Oh, yeah, the costume. Oh, the songs. <laughs> what, what was your uh, your favorite song, Dad? My favorite? Well, that, 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 that's hard to choose. Yeah, but, but if, you, if you had to pick one, say. The third one. The third one. Definitely the third one. Thank you, Benji. We love the show. Well, you know who also loved it, then? A really nice couple, you scalp the tickets to. <laughs> and by the way, when you scalp the tickets, the idea is to sell them for more than you paid for them. We did. We paid nothing for them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dad's not laughing. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not laughing, look. You, I gave you those tickets because you were supposed to have a good time. Well, we did have a good time. Yeah. So, oh, right about now. See you at home. Good night, Luke. What were you doing at the theater? We were supposed to be on a date. Yeah, well, I, I, uh, I cut it short. Why would you do that? Because I was worried about you two. I had some crazy notion that I'd come to the theater and make everything okay. Like the feeling I had when I showed up at the airport. Oh, please. What were you making okay? My life? Is that why you came here? Spout a few proverbs and, and blame me for the breakup of my marriage and tell me how I can repair my relationship with Luke? No, that's not why I'm here. Well, why are you here, Dad? And because... Because I missed you. You think you're the only father who wants to spend time with your son? Sorry, Dad. Uh, I guess I screwed up all around. Well, you've got a fine boy there, Luke. You must have done something right. Yeah, but I just can't seem to connect with him. Well, maybe you're trying too hard. A windy day is not the day for Sachin. <laughs> you mean I should be... I should be patient? So that's what that means. Well, it's also a roofing tip. <laughs> now, don't be too hard on yourself, Benji. Your wife left you. And not in the way that God intended. As your poor mother went. May she rest in peace. You remember Mrs. Hanlon? You know, Pete Hanlon's wife? Mm hmm Well, when he left her, she put a bullet to her head. What? Well, if she'd had a gun, she'd be a dead woman today. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's as dim as a five-watt bulb. <laughs> Good night, Luke. Night. So you're uh, you're going back to your mom's tomorrow night, yeah? Uh, that's the schedule. Well, listen, I'm uh, sorry about tonight. I, uh, I I I think I know where I screwed up. I didn't ask your opinion. I just told you what you were going to do. Next week it's your call. And you get your gun, kiss me, Kate. <laughs> you're kidding, right? Yeah, I'm kidding. And and I'm sorry that I made you miss your date with the Crystal Stanfield. Actually, that turned out okay. When I got home, there were seven messages from all these girls that want to get to know the guy that turned on Crystal Stanfield. <laughs> well, I'm glad everything worked out okay. How was your date? Uh, not so good. She didn't like you? <laughs> yeah, she liked me all right. She just... <laughs> she just didn't know it was a date. <laughs> were you even sitting at the same table? At <laughs> <laughs> the same table, just... It was just a misunderstanding. I somehow got the wrong idea in my head. Well, if it's all in your head, why not make it a good date? <laughs> well, are you on a date with someone right now, Dad? Because if you want, I can leave you to alone. You know, the last time I sat in your bed like this, I was reading you Harold and the Purple Crayon. Y you're not going to read it to me now, are you? <laughs> no, it's just, uh, it's just sitting here that I miss. The road 
road is always shorter when two people walk it. Does he even know we're in here? I'm not even sure he's awake. I'm on my way back to Dublin. Guests and fish start to turn after three days. <laughs> Goodbye, Bailey. No, don't bother getting up. <laughs> Dad, Dad, stop. I, 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 look, I... I really like having you around, you know? And, uh, and so does Luke. No, 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 I don't want to be a bother. Well, it's a bit late for that, Dad. Dad, Dad stop, stop. No, Let no, me help no, you. No, no, I've got it. I've got it. Don't go. It's <laughs> it's completely empty. Empty suitcase, full heart. You make these, oh? No. No, no. No, you made that one up. I know you did. That's made up. That is made up. Well, all right, I made that one up. 